Okay. And I need to consolidate my hold over these provinces and territories. What the trade goods like here? I know that Marley's usually quite wealthy. Yeah, see, the internal stuff is more grain and things. The, the external, we've got tropical wood over here. We have ivory slaves and gold over on this side, which I would like to get my hands on. We do have dyes here in the center. I mean, otherwise, this is just more territory where I can, like, install the nobles and stuff like that, and then Kilwa. I really want to take over Kilwa. That place is so valuable. Unfortunately, if, oh no, the coalition doesn't care. Interesting. Very interesting. And that's going to be down in Africa, so there's not going to be any, any aggressive expansion up here. Oma Bexi, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Great Britain still has their rebels, yeah. British pretenders, aka Cromwell. I do still need to get more manpower. That That is part of the problem here. Is I once again just have no manpower. Lucrative trade. Ducats, trade power in Karatega and also gain 10 ducats or Diplo power. I'll take the Diplo. I don't necessarily need the money right now. Right, have you arrived here yet? No, you're still on your way. And they have almost teleported. Meanwhile, you're wasting your time with the rebels. We should be going after the English. Don't be losing that war now, please. Your army is still way up there. I mean, you're getting a couple of occupations, which is good. You've also established naval superiority. Which is also good. Here comes the fleet. Hopefully I'll get there just in time. 24th of April, I'm not. They're going to teleport as I arrive. Nope, wrong army. That one. And there they are. Off they go. Yeah, I know. I split that up wrong. Never mind. Oh, they teleported over there where they're just going to directly fight against my colonial forces. That is very unfortunate. I kind of wish they hadn't done that. But you are about to get a bunch of territory back again, so that should make you less likely to give up because you're sorting out your rebel issues. Okay. Your rebel issues here are done. Looks like you're heading south. Quality of our troops is impressive. 100 prestige. Sweet. As in, I have 100 prestige. I think I'm going to send these guys over to Kilwa. I know that they're still very much mercenary, but I'm okay with this. I still need to get to 60 plus professionalism. Yeah, we're going to go for Kilwa. 27,000? Is that going to be enough? They are Miltech 18. They have actually caught us. It's because I've had a colony here for so long, they've westernized. France is going after the Congo. That's unfortunate. Congo is another good area. Not as good as Kilwa. Kilwa really is the moneymaker. Right, you are on the ships. Yes? Yes. Let's send you here. Do I have any other rebel areas that are currently held? Actually, yes. Oh, all in colonies. Those are being dealt with, right? How come that's still triggering? What else is occupied? Guess it just hasn't recalculated. Still here. 
Ah, uh, it's because the month hasn't ticked over yet. Let's get speed four. They're still here. They do own a, a province. Can you please tell me where this province is? What province do they hold? Oh, there it is, Curacao. Yep, thank you. Alright, I will go and deal with Curacao for you. Tuscany has announced me as the new rival. That's very unfortunate for you, Tuscany. Right, the other war I need to fight is against Denmark, but I really need to let my AE recover. Alright, Curacao's dealt with. I'll take the manpower loss. I will, however, first of all recruit you. Then I'll take the manpower loss. Coco, self-sustaining. And here we go! N-I-E-U-W-Z-E-E-L-A-N-D New Zealand! Just gonna double check that's how you actually spell new. N I E U W, yes. And there we go. Uh, why are you still called New Holland? Proliferation of the musket. Gain 2.5 arm professionalism, elite regiments will be removed from the Netherlands. As firearms have grown commonplace, our old regiments of elite troops no longer fill the same function as sharpshooters and pioneers. They have done much to develop our armies over time and will now be dispersed amongst our other regiments. Birmingham's leaving the coalition. Right, we're going to do standardised uniforms, which increases army drill. I still haven't done this. Oh, it's because I don't have maritime. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, fluorescent adolescent. Nice name. Okay, I want to convert something. Go for that. That was also a colony that finished. It's still called New Holland, why? You are New Zealand. Graphical bug. Um, next. I need a new colonist, because I want five colonies going at once. And yeah, I think I'm going to double down on taking control of this area to try and basically deny France those provinces. Although, French Columbia is scary. They are huge. I'd also like to go after Cusco, so maybe I'm going to start uh, getting a colony down here and go after the Incas. Agricultural ambitions. Oyo. What does Oyo produce? Oyo is a grain farm, so not production. Tax. You, you have a lot of tax. So we're just going to double down on the taxes. This is sounding like an amazing place for the clergy to put down roots. Munster has left the coalition. Good. And Savoy. Uh, army. Right, you've done your job. Back on the ships. Sailing over to here. How many troops does Kilwa have? Kilwa has 32,000. I'll be attacking them with 27. We're one tech ahead. But they're going to be able to replenish. I won't. I might well need to bring in the second stack as well, though I'd really like to keep them drilling. My front line, though, is comprised of mercenaries. 
So there is that. In fact, I could really make them mercenary. Because there are still quite a few. One, two, three, four, five thousand. Which would need replenishment from manpower pools, which I'd really kind of like to avoid. See, this is why I need my 60% professionalism. Maybe I'll go down to kill where I'll start drilling until we hit 60%, get rid of those five regiments, replace them with five mercenaries, and then attack. I like that plan. That's a good plan. It would be nice if you could requisition your colonial troops. Yeah, but that would be really quite powerful. Although I guess that could depend on like their liberty desire or their autonomy. How likely they are to listen to you. In fact, I think it does already. What would be really nice is if you could give uh, colonial companies troops. And then they can do their own diplomacy and expand themselves with that. Yeah, Great Britain's got the civ English Civil War going on. It's Cromwell causing problems. Trade protection against France. Lundberg. Right, so I have enough money that I could upgrade some forts. And I would very much like to upgrade the forts in my French borders. I do not trust them. Although... I have just noticed that trade depots are available. Do I need them though? I don't think I need them. No, I think I'm just going to stick with the forts. Which actually, because they're all level 4 already, not that expensive to upgrade. How many nations in the coalition against us? Two. Saxony and a rebel-infested Liège. One. Liège. Oh, Lenap was in it too. And that's another treasure fleet that just got through. In which case... whoops, not that one. That one. Upgrade, upgrade. You know what? Upgrade that one first. Let's, let's get the peripheries done. And then we can do the internals. Also, I still need to invest more in manufactories. That's really quite important. But my finances seem to be recovering now, which is nice. Income's gone up to 128. Right, you start drilling down there. Lothis Shen. I'm going to play Kaiserreich again when Man the Guns comes out. I'm fed up of dealing with the uh, AI because it's just so bad. Like, it can't even handle its own front lines, which is stupid, considering that's what the entire game is based around. So I'm hoping that those things get fixed with Man the Guns. If they don't, then I'll probably just stop playing it. If they do, then great. I'll play some more Kaiserreich because I do love them. Play the mod is amazing. It's just a shame that the base game is not quite up to par. Oh wow, Scotland is a thing. England's having so many problems with rebels that Scotland split away. Interesting. I could totally ally them and really screw the British here. Yeah, Geldom is Scotland. Look at the flag. And yeah, Highlander... Um, Ideas are really good. They're really good. Chance of new air, plus 50%. Garrison skies, plus 25. Morale of armies, plus 15. It's the same as what Spain gets. Attrition for enemies, plus 1. Siege ability, plus 10. Stability cost modifier and religious unity, minus 10. Shock damage, plus 15%. National manpower, plus 10. Yearly prestige, plus 1. Manpower recovery, plus 10. That morale, plus that shock damage. Ouch. And they've got the attrition and the siege ability to also be 
just a really strong military power. Like, that is one of the best military, like, combination of ideas I've seen. Especially early on, when Shock is king. Later on, you'll probably be running with more cavalry than you often would. But yeah, strong. Wait, you're seriously saying that I've built 20 manufactories already? Alright then. I I accept that I may probably have. Let's build some more. And the other thing I did want to do was build some more ships. Do I want to do that now? No, the other thing I need to do is finish upgrading my fortifications. Bring them up to par. Done. And any manufactories or any workshops and things that I need to do. Actually, yeah, there are. There definitely are. Oh, bollocks. Didn't mean to build that. That was just me pressing close wrong. Could get some cathedrals going. Could also get some more universities going. Make development here even cheaper. No, I think I'm going to just double down on the manufactories. Although one of the things which is true about the Netherlands right now is I Ghent, Breda, Utrecht, Hellera. None of those provinces have enough building slots to build manufactories, and those are probably going to be worth an awful lot. So I think the Netherlands, I'm going to switch you to development cost reduction again, although at the moment the Burkers still hate us. I can't give them monopoly charters, so I can't increase their loyalty. Although what I could do is give them provinces like Benin. No, not Benin. Any provinces that are worth a lot of money. Well, I need to wait until I kill Kilwa. Once I've dealt with Kilwa, then we can do that. Although, 11 years until many factories spawns. I think I'm just going to keep on pumping them out. We'll go up to the point two. So we'll get in Humbane as well. And then I'll work out what to do over here. We'll, we'll, we'll sort out the development issue. Denmark's embargoing us. Which means that they finished the war against um, Sweden. And here we go. Another election. I've never had a chance to tweak this, so I lose my whole hello. Uh, I lose my 563 and I gain a 563 or a 654 or whatever. A 554. You know what? I actually prefer that combination. You have gone further down the statist route. Really? A, oh, a day later? There really needs to be more control over this. Make it cost 100 military power. Make it cost 50 is probably a fair number. Probably actually 50 admin. Make it cost 50 admin. I think that would be fair. Belief in the virtue of hereditary power tends to be strong amongst those who have themselves inherited power. Local nobles in the Netherlands don't see that connection and argue that their wish to see the House of Orange in power is grounded in their concern for national unity and stability. So the Statists can gain in strength, however we get some noble regiments rising up, or we get increased autocracy which reduces our trade efficiency for five years. Cav becomes cheaper though. Yeah, 5%'s not terrible. And you are righteous, so my 100% tradition remains Alright, I really do want to go off to Kilwa sometime relatively soon. Alright, we are far enough ahead of time that we can definitely get through commerce practice at this point. So that's going to be another 20%. Do 
Trade pal. <laughs> Cha ching. All right. Kill what? Allied with Pate and Wasungli. Pate is there, Wasungli is there. So this is actually going to be quite a large coalition formed here against us. Oh no, I'm not done with this yet. We're at 57%. Still need a bit more. Are you at full strength again? Now you are. I don't really have the force limit yet to do more troops. No, another stack, because I need 27. I currently have, what, 21? So it would be 6 over. That's not the end of the world, but it will cost us a fair amount. Also, I don't have anything near the manpower required to do so. Two six two two general. Nice. What's my uh, land tradition at the moment? Seventy one. That is pretty respectable. Trading in glass has happened to us. Diplomatic tech cost minus five percent. Excellent. Next is going to be separation of powers. Institution embracement cost reduction. Or just a straight up unrest reduction. You know what? The institution embracement's like a one-off. The unrest, though, could be huge. Azosa gets suppressed minority for unrest plus 10 local manpower modifier. We gain autonomy. Zosa is one of the provinces which I th think is under my autonomy regime. Apparently not. Never mind. Uh, these guys are still being converted. Let's continue doing that. How many colonies do I have? Also, Hinot is about to rise up. Five colonists. One is almost done. Wow, Britain is in so much trouble. You need to stop drilling because we are about to go and fight some rebels. End of the English Civil War. Order has finally been restored by the Royalists. How? No, it wasn't. You were fully occupied. Wow, I am calling BS on that one, AI. Crikey. At least try to be a little bit subtle about it. I guess Cromwell died. Oh, can that end it? Alright. CB, colonialism against New Spain. Haha. -ha. Actually, speaking of which, did you beat the British? Is that war still ongoing? That war is still ongoing, and you are losing badly. How? I will send you more money. I will send you 300 ducatses. I will also double check that I'm still paying my money to each of you. I am. Oh, New Zealand's not getting any. New Zealand definitely should be getting some. Uh, wait until my diplomats got home again. Parliamentarians basically said, sod it, we're forming Scotland. <laughs> and Treasure Fleet just got in. Excellent. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and spend a tiny bit of my monies on doing that. And you are going to get a subsidy for 50 years of five ducats a month. Enjoy! And my admin points have just been maxed out. This is a joyous occasion. How is the loyalty of my burkers? It's not really improving. Alright, I have a solution for this. I need to give some of the territory over here to the burkers. 
It's like ivory. Valuable. Burkers probably like it. Production efficiency and trade power they gain. I mean, actually, the coastal provinces would be better. So this ivory province. Benin, I can't give them. Why can I give them? No, I can't. Hold on. Let me just double check something. Have I given all of the provinces to you? I have. Zanzibar. I have. Zanzibar is actually keeping a lot of money here. We need to go and break that. Hegemony. Okay. Um... Glass is worth quite a lot. I'm going to give that one to the Burkers. This is going to give them... Up to 40 loyalty. There we go. They are now no longer pissy. They're still not happy, but they're not pissy anymore. So the places that don't yet have a manufactory, like Kent, Breda, Overstricht... You know what? Virtually everywhere in the Netherlands. So we're going to change you to local dev cost reduction. And we're going to make it so that you can get another build slot. For some of you, that's going to be easier than for others. Like you, very easy. One, two, three. You still don't have a build slot. Yes, you do. Once that's finished building, you will. Uh, you need just five more. One, two, three, four, five. You have a build slot. You can build a manufactory when it's available. Breda needs nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have a build slot. Utrecht. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's kind of expensive. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Utrecht has a build slot. And that just spent most of my points, so... Yeah, we're ahead of time and everything. That's fine. It's at this moment when I can definitely start spending that stuff. Liège has finally left the coalition. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Are you still drilling? You are. How are we doing on the drill terms? 57. I feel like that's going down. Right. All of my defences are being built. That's good. Um, no fluorescent adolescent. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, don't worry. I was going to translate that one first. Uh, right. Are there any other fortifications here that need to be built? No. So we can just go ahead with the manufactories. And yes, I was right. They are worth a silly amount. Excellent. Also, this is going to mean that manufactories, even if we don't get it spawning here, will spread here very quickly, because it spreads wherever there are manufactories. Motion sense, don't even ask. Not worth it. Right, we have a colony too many. No, too few. Where are the colonists? No, seriously, where are the colonists? Hey, we do have one free. Uh, okay. Spain's really tried to fill in this area pretty quickly. Huzzah! I think I'm going to... No, I can't. You know what? We're going to start a colony over here. Because why not? I can reach. It's easy to do. And this is going to give me an easy access to Cusco and the other Inca. I'm going to build here. Steckle, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. I very much appreciate your support. Thank you. Welcome to the Maudlings. 
Yeah, the colonies in Guyana aren't formed yet, I know. That's why I sent one here instead of going, Oh, why can't I do this? Kumasi. Alright. Stop drilling. Jump on the ships. Ships. Selected. Come over here. Army's transporting. Alright, we're good. Hey, Colinus. It's me, I'm here. <laughs> That's terrible timing, because I'm probably going to end this soon. <laughs> Seeing as it's now 2am. Huzzah, damn mobile. <laughs> uh, those guys have taken that. Spain is preparing to attack Choctaw. Oh, speaking of attacking Choctaw. How'd your war... Oh. Yeah, I think New Holland won that one. Wow, they annihilated Florida. I was worried. I apparently had no reason to be. Yeah, I would say that they did pretty well. Crikey. Meanwhile, New Helderland is finally bringing the fight to the British. It's now only a minus four. They've at least occupied Jamaica and do seem to be launching additional assaults. So the extra 300 ducats I sent you paid off. You've still not killed these rebels. Why? There's less than a thousand. Probably because they're not actually sieging anything. So, like, why waste my manpower? I wonder if you can go after the 13 colonies, although, eh, probably shouldn't. Alright, New Flanderen, can you go after anyone? You, can, you could also go after Florida. You could go and wrap this bit up. I mean, I'm a little bemused that the colonial Eastern America and also uh, Mexico colonies are in the same area, but sure, you go and beat up on Florida, seeing we've just beaten them up once. Kelderland, you're already in a war. Holland, you could go after the 13 colonies. That is tempting, but I'm going to hold off for the moment. You can go after, you can go after Australia. Like, I'm not convinced you're strong enough yet. Ooh, you actually started building your own colony, that's good. But you're certainly going to be relatively close. To be fair, they occupied Jamaica like two years ago, did they? But I'd actually like to see what country's on the left side of Scotland. That's the Isles. Which is actually a country you can start as in the beginning of the game. They're a vassal of Scotland. I'm only here to ignore the idiots playing Spider-Man. Alright. Or do you mean this one? Norway. But yeah, it, it's the Isles. And how am I suddenly making 75 ducats? Because, wow, my trade income's gone up quite significantly. 156 now. Hello. And that's still not, like, fully efficient. This is without trade ideas. That's why this is so crazy. Anyway, I think that that's going to be a pretty good place to end this one for today. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button so that you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to support uh, more of this channel stuff, then check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Viking. I do have a YouTube channel as well, where you can find the beginning of this series. As I mentioned earlier, it is massively well worth checking out. This was an absolutely brilliant series, I have to say. Like, it's been so much fun throughout. The beginning was just crazy and is really worth uh, checking out. Then finally, I have a Discord, which you can find at this link here. That is where we are organizing the community multiplayer game, which is going to be kicking off tomorrow. Tomorrow clock, 3 p.m. British summer time. If you wish to play some European of Asalis with me and the rest of the Mordred Viking community, then you will need to go over to the Discord, check out the um, community multiplayer channel that's over there, and that will give you all the details you need. Everyone's going to be in India. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be mental, and it's going to be an awful lot of fun. 
So if you want to come and play with us, that would be awesome. Otherwise, I will be streaming it tomorrow. Uh, again, 3 o'clock p.m. British summertime if you want to see some blood and guts. Because <laughs> it's going to be a lot. Uh, the next regular stream that I will be doing uh, will be on Sunday at 7. That's going to be a continuation of the Total War Attila with the Western Roman Empire. Don't, forget, don't, don't worry, I haven't forgotten. So yeah, that's going to be some more Total War Attila. Right, I'm going to see who else is streaming right now. And hopefully it's not someone who's just completely silent, like I did last time. Let's see who else is doing you for. Ooh, I'm the biggest. I'm just going to mute the audio so I can just see if this person is cool or not. Once the adverse has finished playing, of course. And then I'll uh, host them. Uh, so if you'll head over there, say hello from Mordred Viking, I'd very much appreciate it. And who knows, you may discover some more content that you like. <laughs> this is, this is a uh, Spider-Man advert. Because of course it is. Oh yeah, Dana, uh, throw me a link, we'll go to that. We'll do that instead. <laughs> so tomorrow is typical India. Pretty much. Alright, so this is one of Dana's pals. I'll go and host them. Uh, so if you head on over there, say hello from Mordred Viking and from Dana, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye, everyone.